Time's ticking away for Monroe local schools. The state auditor has placed that district under fiscal watch because of the district's money problems. Nine News reporter Lisa Smith is covering Butler Warren News now, and she's live in Monroe tonight with how parents are mobilizing. Lisa? Well, Carol, state auditors have been in Monroe now for a month going through the district's financials. Fiscal watch means that Monroe local schools have 60 days to show the state that they have a suitable plan to stay in the black. We had no problems. We love Monroe. But the state of Ohio says Monroe schools are in deep financial trouble. The district already has cuts in place for next school year, but Tim and Christy Gadd say they just heard about them this week from their kids. It was kind of a shock. You know, the other day my son came home and told, told us that there was going to be some cuts and uh, said that there was going to be some teachers cut, uh, lower seniority. We're just worried about their education. By phone, school superintendent Dr. Elizabeth Lolly told me the 2.2 million in cuts approved for next year don't account for the 1.3 million dollar deficit projected this June. By law, school districts cannot end the year in the red. We're just kind of you know, hoping to get some more information to this meeting up and coming so we can uh, find out what's going on and what the plan is, you know, what, what they're going to do, you know, to uh, uh, fix this problem. Now, there is a community forum set for next week, and the next school board meeting is a week after that. Meanwhile, if the district cannot fix, fix their fiscal problem, they could find themselves in fiscal emergency. Carol? All right, Lisa Smith, live in Monroe. Thanks, Lisa.